everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to make our image banner as our header background. So this is what we're doing here. So when you go right here, the image should be the background of the header. And then you can still have the sticky header. When you scroll down, the header should still work. And then when you go to the other page, the header is still going to work. So to start, we're going to go to our Shopify store. In our Shopify store, we're going to go to Teams. And we're not going to edit the live team. But if you do want to edit the live team, just click on Actions and click Duplicate. And then edit the duplicated team. But for me, I just downloaded Dawn team. I'm just going to click Actions and then Edit Code. And then we're just going to expand our screen. We're going to go to our section folder. We're going to look for Heather Liquid. So Heather right here. Open that. And first we're going to go is to find our sticky Heather right here. And we're going to delete this color section settings color scheme gradient. We're going to delete that. And then on the bottom, we're going to go to our JavaScript code. So right here, our JavaScript code, we're going to go to our website and then copy this code right here and then paste it after the create observer. So control V to paste right here. See my note right here, this is different from yours. So what we're going to do is go to our customized theme, right click and then open a new tab and in here we're gonna right click the banner to open the dev tools so right click and click inspect so we see right here we have this banner so when we hover the banner should get highlighted so what we're looking is the section id for this banner so we're gonna go up a little bit and we should find this one right here so when we hover on this section, it highlights the banner. We're just going to right click on this one and then click copy and then copy JS path. Make sure you click this one. And then we're going to go back to our team again. And we're going to just replace this whole code right here. Control V to paste and then add a semicolon right here. And next, we're going to go to our website again. And we're going to grab this code right here. And we're going to find the on scroll function. So back to our team code again. We're going to go to on scroll. And we're going to paste this code after the const scroll tab. So after this, hit enter and then control V. I'm just going to highlight this one and then click tab to reposition. And then click save. Now we're going to go back to our team again. So in here, we're going to right click the image banner again. Click inspect. We're going to look for the banner template ID right here. So click that and then right click. Click copy. And then this time we're going to do copy selector. So we're going to go back to our code again. And we're going to go all the way to the top. And in here, after the style, we're going to paste the code. And then we're going to have the open curly bracket and then close um, curly bracket. And then we're going to have tap minus 110 pixels. What this one is doing is just bringing our banner to the top. And then click save. So we're almost done. We're just going to go to our asset folder. We're going to open the base.css file in the asset folder and then we're going to look for header wrapper so control f to find and then we're going to type header dash wrapper so in here we see this background color right here we're going to delete that and then click save and i believe that's it we're just going to go back to our team editor again and then click refresh that's it um your header would be on the top but the announcement bar it would be a different one so you just have to hide this um, announcement bar or just change the color but this is how we have our header so let's put an image in here so select an image and let's do this one 
and then click save okay and that is working and if you don't want that spacer right here you're just gonna go go to the header and then uh, unclick the show separator line so that should be working the sticky header should be working as well and if we go to the other page it should still work okay and that's it let me know if you have any questions don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching